President Trump says that the ceasefire agreement he reached with Turkey is a win for civilization, that it saved millions of lives, and that the Kurds here in northern Syria are happy with it. The Kurds here are not happy with it. In fact, they fear it is the end of their homeland. They say they are already facing a campaign of ethnic cleansing, and they say this is just the beginning. It may sound very complicated. There are a lot of different factions and players and countries involved with the Syrian regime and Russia and Erdogan of Turkey, but it is actually quite simple. There are about two million Kurds who live here in northern Syria, and they have formed a relationship over the last five years with the U.S. military. It was a relationship formed out of necessity. The United States was looking for a partner to fight against ISIS. If you remember a few years ago, ISIS was terrorizing the Middle East. It was exporting terrorism around the world, and its heartland, the heart of the so-called caliphate, was right here. The United States didn't have a partner, didn't have anyone to fight with, and it found the Kurds, and it found them to be brave. They were willing to risk their lives. They lost 11,000 of their men and women fighting alongside the most elite U.S. troops in the entire military to fight against ISIS. And while that was happening, while this, this, this friendship, this alliance was born in combat, the Kurds used that blanket of protection that the U.S. forces were providing them to carve out their own autonomous area. They found a homeland. They created a stable region here in northern Syria, which they called Rojava. That is where we are right now. We are in Rojava. But Rojava, this Kurdish enclave, is now being divided up. It is being destroyed. And the people who live here, the Kurds, say they will have nowhere to go. They are going to face mass either murder or ethnic cleansing. And they say it is already beginning. And the reason why they say that is because this peace deal, this ceasefire that President Trump negotiated with Turkey, the fundamental tenet of the agreement is to cede much of this area, a 20 mile uh, deep by 250 mile wide strip. That area, which is being called the safe zone, goes to Turkey. So according to this peace deal, a piece of Syria, a piece of Syria where the Kurds live is now going to be controlled and patrolled by Turkey. And not just Turkey. Turkey has big plans for this region. Turkey has already been laying out what it wants to do with this new piece of territory it controls. Uh, Turkey's President Erdogan wants to settle between one and three million, although sometimes he says one and two million, his numbers keep changing, one and two or three million non-Kurdish Syrian Arab refugees here. So that means if you're living here and you're a Kurd, you are looking across the border at Turkey. You are seeing millions of non-Kurdish refugees who are heading this way, and the Kurds say, very soon, these gates will open and there will be millions of non-Kurdish Arab Syrian refugees coming in here, not just to pass through, but to settle for good. Er Erdogan has already been talking about all the housing projects he wants to build here, the schools and the mosques and the hospitals that are going to be built here for the new arrivals. And the Kurds say, as these new arrivals show up, there is going to be civil war, there'll be vendetta killings, and that they themselves will very likely be displaced. And they're going to be displaced not just because the Syrians in the, in the north, the refugees, hate them, not just because there is a long-standing animosity between these two ethnic groups, but because they fought alongside U.S. forces. By, by being here, by having this alliance with the Americans, the people who are around this neighborhood have been painting them as traitors. That's what the Turks have been calling them. That's what the Turkish-backed militias have been calling them. That is what the Assad government has calling them. And now the Kurds are left on their own. They've been branded as traitors for working with the Americans. Now the Americans are leaving them, and their fate is uncertain, to say the least. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.